everyone. Um, my name is Claire Postel and I'm the study abroad officer in charge of incoming students at the University of York. I'd like to tell you a little bit about our visiting student program. Okay. Uh, but first I'll start telling you a little bit more about the University of York. Uh, we're a high performing Russell Group University where inquiring minds, inspiring lecturers and world class researchers strive. Um, we are on three separate campuses. Um, we are on uh, Campus West, uh, which is our in, uh, original campus. Um, it's based around the Lakeland setting and um, it's a mixture of older buildings from around about the 1960s, as you can see from the photograph there and also some very, very modern buildings as well. Um, the centre picture is our campus east. This is the uh, what we also call the new campus. It's about uh, 15 to 30 minutes walk from the other camp, from uh, Campus West. And it's all new buildings. It's from uh, about um, original buildings 10 years ago, and we are building new colleges on there at the moment. Um, the building you can see there is our Ronkuk Hub. Uh, that's a mixture of um, um, dining room, uh, lecture theatres, uh, and various other uh, things, uh, bookable spaces, teaching spaces, uh, and it's also on there are our, our, our new colleges, uh, and Lister College, Goodrick College, uh, Langworth College and Constantine College. The colleges are on Campus East are all just accommodation, and each college has about 400 students living there, all in single bedrooms. Um, the picture on the right is Kings Manor. Kings Manor is um, our central city campus uh, and it is the campus for archaeology and for um, 18th century studies and medieval studies. Um, um, the university was founded in 1963 and we have a collegiate system much like Durham and Oxford and Cambridge. Um, there are also three faculties, humanities, social sciences and sciences. And as you can see from the map, uh, York is midway through the large island of uh, England, Scotland and Wales and midway between London and Edinburgh. We're about two, um, we're now 50 minutes by road from London, about two hours from Edinburgh. So we're pretty much equidistant. And it's also easy to get um, to the west coast of England. Um, you can get to Paris in about uh, four or five hours, all by rail. You just get on the train at York and get off the other end of Paris. Um, and we're also fairly close to Belfast, Dublin, and we have good uh, air links with the rest of the continent of Europe. Okay. Why would you study York? Uh, there are lots and lots of reasons, but I'll just go into a couple of them here. Um, the education we provide is research led. Um, students are taught by the uh, academics who, who are doing the research and whose research is actually changing the world. We've done quite a lot on COVID. Uh, we do a lot on sustainability, um, a lot of other um, environmental work. Um, health economics is another leading area of ours. And of course we have things like um, theater, film and television. Um, politics, research, um, things like that. Um, so when you're in the when you're in class with them, you benefit from your lecturer's motivation and from their passion in their subject. They love what they do and they want to share everything with you, and that you get real cutting edge discussions with your lecturers. Um, we were awarded the TEF Gold from the Office for Students in 2018. Uh, the Office for Students is uh, one of the government agencies which regulates universities, and this demonstrates our commitment to the delivery of outstanding teaching and learning for our students. Um, so, studying at York, we have opportunities for undergraduate and for postgraduate students. Okay. Our academic year is currently three 10 week terms, so October to September uh, to December spring, January to March, summer is April to June, and teaching takes place over the whole of those particular times. Uh, we don't have exa um, an examination period in, in each term. It's in um, January or in June, and uh, exams assessments are frequently virtual these days. 
from uh, academic year 2023 to 2024, we will be having two semesters, but we aren't quite sure of the timings of those as yet. Okay. Um, in York, we call classes modules. These are a discrete package of teaching, uh, which leads to a particular number of credits. Uh, a full-time study load is 40 to 60 credits per term and 120 credits for the full academic year. Uh, our modules can be 10, 20 or 30 credits across one, two or three terms. And uh, for those of you who think in the European credit system, 20 credits is 10 ECTS. Contact hours do depend a lot on the discipline. Um, and there, we have a mix of talk classes, seminars, tutorials, um, self-directed learning, which are assessed through exams, lab work, essays, presentation, and coursework presentation, coursework evaluations. Um, some departments also do a lot of group work. Um, as I was saying, contact hours depend on discipline. Um, so if you're in a lab-based class, uh, such as biology or electronics, you'll spend an awful lot more time um, in the labs and with your tutor than you would if you were taking maybe English where you're expected to do a lot of library work and a lot of um, a lot of reading. Um, I was saying earlier on about having three faculties, so social sciences, arts and humanities and sciences. And uh, I won't read through the list, uh, but we have pretty much all the normal um, um, subjects that you expect at university. Uh, and um, if you come on the George Mason Exchange Programme, you can take um, classes in one, two or three of these departments. OK, so what's it like to study here? Our students live in the colleges. Uh, we was, I was saying earlier about Constantine and Langworth and Goodrick Colleges on our, um, our campus west. Uh, and these colleges are centres of leisure, culture, sport, food and welfare. Uh, they're sort of like um, <coughs> little universities within a university. And you quite often find that uh, a student will be, say, a Goodrick student think of themselves as a Goodrick student before they think of themselves as a University of York student. We have in students from over 140 countries, um, many, many international students. Our international students are around about a third of our intake every year. Um, so from China, India, um, the USA, um, Southern America, a lot of European students as well. Um, we also have many international and country societies and you don't have to be um, from that country or of that national to join the society. Um, we have special employability and leadership programs so the York Futures and the York Strengths which are also open to exchange students and in these you can find out what your strengths are and either follow a program to improve your strengths or follow a program to improve things that you are not quite so strong in. Um, the uh, University of York, as I said before, is around a uh, parkland campus, around lakes, uh, both the main campuses are, and uh, we're on the edge of the city of York. Uh, York is um, about 15 minutes by bus from us, and the buses, as you would expect from a university, uh, run very, very frequently backwards and forwards, around about every seven minutes. Um, and this particular bus goes from the centre of York right the way out through the campus, uh, a round trip and back again. Um, it's also really easy to uh, walk into the city or to cycle into the city as well. Our library facilities, including the study spaces there, uh, which can be either um, sort of computer study spaces, single person study spaces, or group work study spaces, are open 24 seven for 362 days of the year. We close uh, Christmas day, um, New Year's Day and Easter Sunday. Those are the only ones. And there is uh, library staff on hand uh, at all those times. Okay. Uh, a little more about the student experience with us. So um, as I was saying before, we have a lot of student societies. There are about 200 societies. Um, they're organized 
by the students, by our USU, which is our University of York Students' Union, um, through the Graduate Student Association and through the colleges. And you can uh, play a sport at any particular level. You can either play uh, in um, introductory level, um, which is mainly through the colleges or right the way up to uh, uh, university level, playing against other university level, uh, other university level clubs in the um, UK. Um, 65 sports clubs, uh, we have a purpose-built um, sports center on the campus east. Uh, with uh, around about a, a 100, you know, machine gym. Sorry, I'm not a gym person, as you can probably tell by looking at me. Uh, but they do. They have a you know 100 piece gym with spaces so you can do Zumba, uh, a swimming pool, um, the velodrome, uh, all the usual things. And on um, Campus West, we have big um, fields for um, field hockey and rugby and football. Uh, and various things like that. About the only thing that we don't have, which we find students ask about, is baseball. Uh, we do softball, but not baseball, I'm afraid. Okay. Um, we have, um, when you get here, you have an uh, orientation. We have international orientation, and you'll also get welcomes from your departments and from your college. There are various uh, other bits of student experience. Um, we have a student buddy system uh, where you can uh, apply uh, once you have been accepted for a student buddy to help you settle in. This will be a second or a third year student. So uh, they are very, very helpful and very, very knowledgeable about York and its systems and everything else. So they really want to make, make you feel settled. Uh, lots of culture and entertainment um, they have um, a theatre on campus, our TFTV, sorry, theatre, film, television, interactive media students uh, do a lot of um, film and uh, drama work. Uh, we also have various amateur societies as well. Um, so whether you're uh, wanting to be a professional or it's just something you find fun, you can, you can take part in that. We also have uh, uh, a, a, a university radio, a university television system, and a university newspaper, and all the usual social media you can get, in, you can get involved with. Um, our skill centres, the mathematics skill centre and the writing language skill centre, are there to help you should you have any problems. Um, uh, the writing and language skill centre um, is very, very helpful when it comes to writing your um, final assessment essays. Um, they'll help you with making sure that you have the correct um, setting and layout for a UK university. And they're also very, very helpful with things like referencing. Okay. Accommodation. We have um, either catered or self-catered accommodation, which is in the colleges I mentioned earlier. We have 10 different colleges. Um, and it can run from about £99 to £199, sorry, £191 per week. This is for a single room. Uh, most of our rooms, probably about 90% are single. Um, if you come with a friend and want to share a room, we do have some double rooms, you know, some twin rooms, but most of them are single. Um, and this covers heating, electricity, water, your continent, ENS insurance, and full Wi-Fi everywhere. Um, we have lots of bars, cafes, eateries, um, and also there are bike sheds, common rooms and study areas all within the different colleges. Uh, the cost of living in uh, York is much less than it is in some of the other major cities, uh, particularly from London or Manchester or Birmingham. Um, so as we were saying that the rent is from around about 99 to say, 200 pounds approximately, depending on whether you have catered or self-catered accommodation. Um, if you're in self-catered, we recommend that food, depending of course on what you eat, is probably about 35 pounds a week. And that is including, you know, some eating out. Uh, a bus fare, so to, uh, 20 tickets pass to the city is about uh, 20 pounds. Um, 
you can mobile phone running for a week is about eight pound fifty, and entertainment is about thirty to forty five pounds. Um, obviously, the entertainment does depend a lot on what you do. There are lots of things in the area which are free entertainment, but if you're someone who wants to go clubbing every night, then it will obviously it will be a little bit more expensive. Okay. The city of York itself is um, an ancient city. Um, it was um, it dates back to the Romans. Um, it was settled in AD 78, and um, the walls which circle the city date back almost that far. Um, it's also very, very modern and vibrant. Um, it's a haven for art lovers, um, film buffs, theatre fanatics, um, uh, lots of outdoor entertainment takes place, um, both just um, the sort of buskers on the street and um, theatre presentations that take place there out, outdoors as well. Uh, we have various markets at times of the year, like the Christmas market. Um, we have the Oktoberfest um, in obviously in October, last week in October. Um, and we have various other markets and things throughout the year, which are you know, really interesting to go to. Um, also, if you're lucky to be here at the time when we have um, the York pageant, um, which is a, a medieval guild pageant where um, at Easter they carry um, um, uh, you know, theatre presentations that are carried through the streets on the backs of um, trucks. Uh, which would have been the original guild way of doing them, um, religious presentations. Uh, Whitmore Walkgate is the shortest street in York, uh, but it also has the longest name. It's um, very, very short indeed. And the picture you have there on the screen is of the Shambles. Um, the Shambles uh, is noted to be the um, inspiration for Diagon Alley in uh, Harry Potter. Um, the city is, there's a lot of it which is now pedestrianised, uh, so it's a um, cycle and we have riverside walks, um, nice parks, you can walk all the way around the city on the walls, um, and it's also ideally situated to explore um, the stunning scenery of uh, our county of Yorkshire, um, the moors, the dales, um, the, um, the coastline. Uh, there are some really beautiful areas. We have um, three large um, national parks, um, which all have really stunning scenery. And as I was saying earlier on, we have great transport networks that connect with major cities of the UK and further afield into Europe. Okay. Uh, getting on the campus in the city is also really easily, um, as I say, City centre is about a 50 minutes cycle, 20 minutes bus or a 30 minutes walk. And that's my 30 minutes and I'm not very fast at walking. Um, again, to, um, to Campus West, um, to, from Campus West to Campus East is about a 20 minutes walk or five minutes on the very, very frequent shuttle buses. Okay. So, um, if you want to know more about us, I would say that was just a really quick whistle stop through uh, University of York. But if you want to know more, we'd love to hear from you. So if you want to contact us at the Centre for Global Programmes, um, our web is york.ac.uk forward slash visiting students, or you can email us at visiting hyphen students at york.ac.uk. Um, and if you'd like to contact me directly, Claire Postel at the visiting hyphen students address, I will answer any questions at all that you want to ask me. Um, so please do contact me and thank you very much for listening to me. Bye-bye.